Little House on the Prairie star Alison Arngram made headlines with a stunning revelation. According to her, fellow star Michael Landon was the opposite of his screen character and was dangerous to know. Alison Arngram has blessed Hollywood with a lot of great movies. Many fans know her well as Nellie Olson. Her character on the NBC television series Little House on the Prairie, which aired from 1974 to 1981. The now 59-year-old actress originally auditioned as Laura Ingalls. When she didn't get the role, she auditioned for Mary Ingalls, which also went to someone else. She was later cast as Nellie, a role she played so well she established the cultural reference for spoiled bad girl in the 1970s. Arngram remains one of Hollywood's icons who started as a child star and maintained a successful career after so many years. She sure became a fan favorite since the 70s, and decades after the NBC series ended, Arngram shared shocking details about her experience on the show. ARNGRIMS experiences as Nellie. Years after Little House on the Prairie aired for seven seasons, reports showed that the cast still got emails from the hit family drama fans. But fans were not the only ones who benefited from the film's storyline. Arngram is always grateful she got to play Nellie. In her book Confessions of a Prairie, How I Survived Nellie Olson and Learned to Love Being Hated, the actress revealed that she was sexually abused as a child, and acting Nellie helped her heal. A relative abused Arngram as a six-year-old, and the experience made her a shy and withdrawn child. But all these changed when she became the scheming 11-year-old Nellie. Arngram who suffered the trauma of being abused in silence, suddenly intimidated people because of her on-screen character. The actress and author are grateful Nellie didn't ruin her life. However, the good memories Little House on the Prairie carried weren't all the actress had to share. Speaking about the behind-the-scenes tales of the hit series Arngram had more shocking information about some cast members. Her experiences on the show weren't all blissful and it turned out Michael Landon wasn't the lovely dad he portrayed on television. According to Arngram, Landon was strict with his rules and had a sense of humor that really shocked people. He also had a disrespectful habit of showing up on set without his underwear. Landon was an American actor and filmmaker. He starred as Charles Ingalls in Little House on the Prairie. Was Landon the perfect family guy? In a recent interview, Arngram, 59, opened up about Landon's attitude towards other cast members. Although the Prairie lead man may have appeared as the perfect family man on TV. Some cast members have also had different unflattering stories to tell about the late actor. Actress Karen Grassel, who starred as Caroline Ma Ingalls on the 70s drama, revealed how Michael Landon, who portrayed her on-screen husband, always boasted about his masculinity on set. Grassel's memoir unveiled never-before-known details about Little House on the Prairie, and her time with Landon as one thing fans were always curious about. Grassel alleged that her on-screen husband Landon constantly talked about his sex life and the benefits of bee pollen for the older male. It was eventually discovered that the US actor was having an affair with Cindy Clerico who worked as a stand-in for Landon's co-star Melissa Francis. The then 18-year-old Clerico was more than 20 years Landon's junior. Grassel wasn't impressed with the actor's behavior. Some of the hit NBC drama's stars confirmed that Landon and Clerico's affair, coupled with the fact that he and Grassel had a feud due to her low salary, made the now 79-year-old actress more furious. Grassel and Landon's feud Grassel and her husband on Little House on the Prairie were no loving couple off the set, and the actress has made that clear in a series of accusations. Grassel, who also acted alongside Landon in Bless All the Dear Children, made it clear the actor body shamed, made insensitive jokes, and refused to pay a fair wage. Although Grassel said Landon carried the show's weight on his shoulders, she didn't believe it was an excuse for his attitude. The movie star's disagreements began when Grassel requested a raise in her income for the second season.
Landon turned down her request and reportedly said she wasn't as famous as she believed. The actress also opened up about how Landon started reducing her scenes and leaving her out of the storyline. He mocked her body, made jokes about her facial expressions to the crew, and she couldn't even call him out. However, Grassle and Landon's feud isnt all her book was about, as it also talked about the actress struggles with alcohol addiction and the effects it had on her and her Prairie co-stars and her career. Speaking of her memoir during an interview, Grassle, aka Ma, said she decided to solve her drinking problems in 1977 after two incidents, one of which involved drinking at work. The actress had organized a luncheon for her co-stars on set and had a glass of wine. However, one glass was enough to get Grassle's mind off work. Prairie co-star Arngram, who had described Grassle's memoir as fair, confirmed Grassle's alcoholism prevented her and Landon from resolving their problems before he died. 